All right. My wife says I do this all the time. Okay, so these are all the mugs that we got done this week, plus some that were in the kiln right now that are gonna come out and be glazed. So these are all the 12, 16, 20 ounce mugs um, that have the Moke Monkey logo on there. So it's gonna be, I'm pretty happy. I think we did like 93 mugs in three days. So I, it's been a while since I have done that many. I did, when EC and I got married, I made 250 mugs and gave one to each of the guests that came. And now when I go over to people's houses and I see those mugs, they're like, yeesh, those are not good. Not good mugs. But you wanna learn a lot about throwing, throw 250 mugs in a month period. So anyway, so now we're gonna load, we're gonna unload that bisque kiln and then we're gonna load all this stuff and then we'll be able to start glazing and get these mugs up so we can start using them. Mug, candle holder, hand warmer with the spiral for your finger with the Moke Monkey logo, another candle holder, Moke Monkey poker chips. <laughs> All right, that's it. Switch angles. It's about to get a lot hotter than 57 degrees. So I'm gonna fire this kiln and I fire all my bisque kilns on slow program, but I also even know that some of these pots in there are still just slightly wet, so everything's not bone dry in there. So I'm gonna preheat it uh, probably for like four or five hours just to like really make sure that everything's dry because I don't, really don't want anything to break in there. Crack. I might even like wait and delay it until, and fire it tonight, just so that it gives it a whole like another 12 hours to dry in there. So to program it, I will say cone fire. I'm gonna say preheat for five hours. Enter. Cone 06, I bisque to cone 06. Enter, speed is slow. That was, so this was my last, one that I did, and then hold, I will hold zero, and then I press start. Then I turn this guy on. This is just a big exhaust fan that holds all the fumes up. And since these are, there's still a few pots that are kind of wet, you're kind, we're kind of water smoking it, so there will actually be some like moisture that is pulled out of the pot, and then that can be sucked up through there too, outside. Tune in for part two. Who knows when that'll be up, but at some point when we take all this out and then we glaze it all, it's gonna be sweet and then we'll get them upstairs and start using them. <sighs> See you in the next one. Mic plugged in, mic on. Exciting, always exciting when things come in the mail. Right, buddy? So we just got this package. So one of my favorite um, potters that I'm following right now pretty closely is Kurt Hammerly from, oh it's on that side too, Hammerly Ceramics. And, sorry, EC vacuum. She always is like, why don't you clean up before you film stuff in our house? But you know what, I just give it to you straight. You get the raw, you get the raw John the Potter and family. He's looking pretty spiffy though, isn't he? All right, so if you haven't seen Kurt Hammerly, go check him out. He does amazing stuff, stuff that I, it's like, he 3D prints molds, and it's just really cool. Go check him out. So we ordered a mug. He did an Etsy restock, and I had just done an Etsy restock, and I was like, you know what? I wanna, I wanna invest. So he goes in the small, the small uh, box method. 
wrapped up very nicely. That's a sweet, sweet stamp, that HC. All right, this is dangerous to have this knife. So yeah, he does, I'm pretty sure it's in a big gas fire, like cone 10 or nine or, but his, his model of how he's selling mugs on Etsy is really cool. So I kind of am gonna emulate it a little bit, I think. Let's put this knife away. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. That is dope. So cool. So yeah, it's all, it's not wheel thrown, it's all molded. Uh, it's all molds that he 3D prints. So he's got this cool new, you know, like uses technology. Anyway, super cool guy, got a great story. So if you haven't seen him, go check him out. I'll be drinking coffee out of this mug for a while. Do you wanna try some? Cool, cool. All right, hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I just filmed this, I have no idea what video this is gonna be a part of, but we'll see you in the next one. Wow.